Want fries with that? Amazon moves to deliver fast food to your door. There's a new smart way to learn how to play the piano. And we count down the top five trending stories of the week. This is BizWire TV, where your news is made. Now on Apple TV, iPhone, and Android devices. I'm Jordan Rowling. We're interactive, so if you see the rundown in the corner, you can jump to any segment. Top of the wire this week, Amazon is hungry for more food business, and a New York digital ordering business is helping to deliver. Literally. Olo announced it's teamed up with Amazon to simplify food ordering and add more options to Amazon restaurants. The online food ordering platform boasts an exclusive network of more than 200 restaurant brands in 40,000 locations. They include Shake Shack and Five Guys, as well as Jamba Juice, Chipotle, Cold Stone Creamery, and Wingstop. Amazon Prime members will be able to order from those restaurants and all of Olo's restaurant brands. And Amazon Restaurants has already integrated Olo's mobile order and pay technology. Now let's count down the top five trending Business Wire stories of the week according to our newbie social media monitor. Coming in at number five, the NFL. It's teaming up with the Hispanic Heritage Foundation and Nationwide for the seventh annual NFL Hispanic Heritage Leadership Awards to recognize Hispanic leaders within the NFL. Bandai Namco cruised in at number four after launching Project Cars 2. The motorsports racing game features over 140 tracks across 60 locations and 180 different cars to choose from. It's available now on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Steam. At number three, the Latin Grammys. The Latin Recording Academy announced the nominees for its 18th annual awards. Residente leads with nine nominations. The awards will be handed out on November 16th. Amazon tunes into number two with the launch of Amazon Music with Alexa. Music lovers can now use Alexa voice controls in the Amazon Music app on iOS and Android devices. And the number one most shared business wire story of the week is Univision. The media company reached more than 178 million people on social media when it announced a seven hour live benefit broadcast. Unidos por los nuestros, which means united for each other, raised over $3 million to help people impacted by the recent natural disasters in Puerto Rico, Mexico, Florida, and Texas. Moving on to the launch pad where we check out new products and services announced on Business Wire. A popular organic grocery delivery service is getting into the meal kit business. Door to Door Organics just launched a new subscription meal planning service that provides a customized box of organic and local produce and groceries, along with recipes. Door to Door says unlike other meal kits, customers will have complete control over the meals they make. They can cater recipes to their family's likes and dislikes and won't be forced to buy an item that's already in their pantry. The service is launching first across six East Coast states, including Washington, D.C., with plans to expand further in October. How about a phone that can withstand fire and ice? This is the new rugged Duji S60. The Chinese smartphone maker describes it as, quote, manly, strong, and special. The S60 runs on Android 7.0, but its big selling point is that it can take a beating. Duji posted a video showing the S60 surviving a torture test that included covering it in cement, freezing it in an ice block, covering it in boiling water, and surrounding it with fire. Duji says the phone is designed to work in the field, underwater, and other outdoor environments. And Benjamin Moore introduced a new paint that can turn almost any wall or other kind of surface into a dry erase board. Notable is a dry erase paint that comes in white or clear. Two components are mixed and can then be applied on painted walls, wood, glass, metal, and laminate. The paint company says the new product was developed to meet the growing demands of the modern workplace. Time for the Accelerator Report to see what's revving up the startup industry. And we begin with an update on an electric vehicle maker that BizWire TV first told you about last spring. Arkimoto made its debut on the NASDAQ and is now trading under the symbol FUV. FUV stands for Fun Utility Vehicle, which is how the Eugene, Oregon startup describes its two-person all-electric three-wheeler. Arkimoto says the SRK can reach a speed of 80 miles an hour and travel the equivalent of 230 miles a gallon. Target base model price is just under 
look for production to move into high gear. Arkimoto says its sale of 3 million shares of its common stock at $6.50 per share raised more than $19 million, and that new capital will accelerate the company's timeline to bring the vehicle to market next year. On the VC Watch, more financing has come into focus for an online photo editor. Photor is a fast-growing photo editing and graphic design platform. It gives users an easy way to improve their pictures on a browser or through its app. It also offers help with design for graphics for social media, invitations, posters, or blogs. Photor says it has upwards of 250 million users in more than 180 countries. The China-based startup says it plans further improvement to all its platforms, using $7.6 million in Series B funding it just received from GF Securities. Welcome to Raise. Raise has raised more capital. The gift card marketplace lets users buy discounted gift cards, or people can sell their unwanted gift cards for cash. Raise says it has millions of users and has built partnerships with 400 brands. The Chicago company announced it raised $60 million in Series C funding led by Excel. The latest round brings its total to $147 million raised since it was founded in 2013. This week's startup standout is out to make learning how to play the piano a breeze. One Music Group created the One Piano Highlight. It uses advanced sensors and LED indicators to teach piano. Users place the piano highlight strip at the top of a keyboard and connect the micro USB to a tablet or smartphone. With the One Smart Piano app, they can then access thousands of sheet music, over 100 video lessons, and interactive games. LED lights sync with the programs to signal to users which key to play and when. The Piano Highlight is available now for pre-order on Indiegogo. Be sure to check out all episodes of BizWire TV on bizwiretv.com and on Apple TV. And stay connected on our app for iPhones and Android devices. I'm Jordan Rowling. Thanks for watching BizWire TV.